One of Bay City's gems of the water is undergoing a major facelift. NBC 25's Elise Dolinar has a look now, though, at the restoration. It may look like it's in a bit of a disarray, but a local nonprofit, as well as many volunteers from the community, have been coming here to Pier 7 Marina to preserve a piece of history. The Appledore 5 has been out of the water for close to a year and a half with what started as work on the rudder, but led to the discovery of something more detrimental. And we were just kind of doing spots, and then as we started opening things up, you know, we started finding there was more corrosion than what we had anticipated. Bill Coberly, a member of the Bay Sail Board, the parent company that owns Appledore 4 and 5, says the inside of the Appledore or five had to be gutted in order to get all of the corrosion. But the goal is to have the 65 foot tall ship back in the water by mid April. We have masts that have to go up, which we're working on over here. Uh, those wooden masts have had some checks in it. Those have to go in and the rigs all have to be adjusted. Most of the work done on the ship is thanks to the volunteers from the community. I think right now we're probably up closer to almost 50, 55 individuals who put some amount of time in you know, working on the boat. The Appledore 4 and 5 travel to Michigan ports on Lake Huron, providing environmental education for students, public sailing, sail training, and of course will be part of the Tall Ships celebration. Bay Sail Director of Marketing Scott Ellis says the Tall Ships promote the region's rich maritime history and uniqueness. The Appledore 4 and 5 are the only ones operating in Lake Huron and only part of less than a dozen operating in all of the Great Lakes. You can see the Appledore 5 and all the other tall ships here in Bay City from July 18th through the 21st. Reporting in Bay City, Elise Solinar, NBC 25 News. If you have a knack for the nautical or just love being by the water, the Tall Ship Celebration is looking for volunteers to help out on the docks. The jobs include catching ropes when ships arrive, maneuver ships, and make them ready to receive guests during the festival. The festival also needs help with tickets, parking, guest attendance, and children's craft activities. So if you're interested, there is a link at NBC25news.com with more information.